what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back here once again with another video with you guys when it comes on to the walking dead season 10 episode 5 and 6 is here today and war what is it good for absolutely nothing <laughs> but any day but anyways um Loving the series, man. Loving the series. Four episodes into season 10, we're getting so much closer to me catching up with the series. And I have to say, I have enjoyed the ride so far. I am ready to jump in to episode 5. And, you know, looking at what's going on right now. Still no update on Rick. Or... You know, Maggie. Uh, I mean, well, we're getting updates about Maggie, but nothing on Rick. So I'm wondering if something happened to him in real life. And I don't want to go check because I don't want to be spoiled just in case he does show up in this season. Um, So I'm not looking it up to see, <laughs> to see if he's coming back or not. You know, um, right now we, we know that Michonne is the main person that is carrying the story right now right we know this right that is not a debate we all know that she's the one carrying the show right now as the main star in the show right so when it comes on to um daryl i think it's a collective of the cast but mainly michelle right so i'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do next because Right now, it seems like the Whisperers are ready to go to war. Um, as I said, we're not sure if they're behind the attacks. Well, I'm sure she's not behind the attack. I, I'm i sure she's not behind the attack that happened to Alexandra. Now, when, are they just panicking? You know, we, we held up on Alexandra. Are they just panicking because these guys are still out there? I mean, they did cross the border three times you know what i'm saying and now they've taken more land but why are they taking more land i think michonne i think michonne is thinking of this and saying it's because they have lydia but i don't think it's because they have lydia i think it's because they do not have the nuke as michonne described it the horde right i think that's the reason i think it's because she doesn't have the horde anymore like if she had the horde, why is she um, still gathering? You get what I'm saying? Like, if you have that horde, you can't be saying, oh, we need more, we need more. You know what I'm saying? Because from what we saw in, I think it was episode two, they were still trying to gather, trying to gather walkers, right? Now, anybody could show you something and be like, oh, we have control of that horde. You get what I'm saying? And saying, my people are among them. You get what I'm saying? Like, for what? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Um, anybody can, can say that. We, I can show you, um, you know, I can show you a, a, a lot of things. And it's not what it is. You get what I'm saying? It can be fronting. It may not be an active thing. You get what I'm saying? So... People can use that as a decoy to trick people into thinking you have something big when you don't. You get what I'm saying? So countries do it all the time during war. You know, they flex and they don't really have shit. You know, um, I'm not saying that the U.S. does that. I'm saying that there's other countries out there that have flexed before, you know, like they have this superpower and they don't, you know, it's tricking everybody into thinking they're this great nation or whatever but in any case that's war talk i don't want to talk about that anyways i'll see you guys for the review all right so i don't know man as i said i gotta see it to believe it i gotta see it to believe it i gotta see negan betray everybody i gotta see him do that again before i jump to conclusion and be like oh negan is you know 
I gotta see it. I gotta see it. So these two episodes are pretty cool. Um, um, wasn't anything different from what we've seen in the middle of seasons. Um, you know, in previous seasons, anything different. Episodes are slow building up. You know, a storyline to go forward in, right? So we got Eugene's situation. Eugene making a friend. Who the hell is that? I'm wondering if they're from Rick's, where Rick and Jadis is at. I'm thinking maybe that's where they are. They say they got people, can't trust nobody. Um, they also, Carol and Daryl has captured someone from um, one of the Whisperers. So we, I guess we'll get to see how that conversation goes. I don't like the fact that Carol is doing stuff off the cuff. She is angry. She is angry and she's doing stuff out of her character that we don't normally see with Carol. You get what I'm saying? Stuff like she's lying to Daryl is something that she never usually do. Um, you know, and I get it. I understand why she's angry, but she's also got to be careful. And that's what Daryl is trying to prevent where, you know, where she, he's trying to watch her back because he doesn't want her to do anything stupid to get herself killed also. And he's just being, he's being a good friend. You know what I'm saying? So props out to Dar to, to Daryl for that. Still no update on Rick and Maggie. Of course, I'm going to continue saying it until I see them back in the show. And of course we have, um, you know, we didn't see, did we see Michonne and Alda in those two episodes? No. Did we? I think she was in episode five. I'm not. I'm not. It's been a while since we've seen them. To be honest, I think these episodes were focused on Negan and the Whisperers, really. And you know, all the people getting sick back at Alexandria. It's a bug going around. Um. So we'll see how they treat that. Um. Yeah. As I said, it's nothing much here to to really dive into other than, you know, the situation that's going on with Negan. Like, is Negan going to betray them? I still don't believe he's going to betray the people. I think he's purposely infiltrating them so he can probably destroy them from within or at least become what Dwight was for uh, for for um for Rick and Daryl them back in when he was with the saviors and stuff so that's where i'm thinking that he probably taking a page out of dwight's book you know infiltrate him um destroy them from within learn their ways learn what their operation is and then try to escape to warn alexandra about what they're doing um so that's my hope because i really do believe that negan has changed i really do believe that in my heart of hearts, I believe that Negan has changed. I mean, he killed that kid, man, which that kid deserved whatever came to him. You know what I'm saying? He was an asshole. He didn't get the point. Negan sent him away. He still came back and he killed a kid. He killed a child, man. Like, talk about scum of humanity. You know what I'm saying? As in Negan saying that he will never kill a kid. Um, I don't know, but at the end of season seven, wasn't he about to kill Carl? <laughs> wasn't he about to kill Carl? I don't know if he would have went through with it, but I mean, he was definitely about to kill Carl. He lifted the bat and everything. So I don't know. I don't know if he would have held, held up, but he definitely has some affection for Carl one way or the other. That's definitely been evident in the show from way before so i definitely see them working something out but in any case guys as i said i don't have much to say here for the review um just know that i'm still holding out hope giving negan the benefit of the doubt that he has not switched back to old negan right so yeah still looking forward to seeing an update on maggie and rick um i don't know if we're gonna get that this season to be honest but 
it is what it is. I'm still going to continue to watch the show. But in any case, I appreciate you guys. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in always and checking out these episodes, man. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys next time for some more to walk in there. Peace.